video with me Patrick aka Ra Wolfie hey, also known as Ra or just Wolfie on twitch.tv slash Ra Wolf 88 if you like gaming that is if you're just for the hiking then welcome we are now at the root of Kempen um, I must say it correctly Kempenbrook it's close to Stramboy city of Stramboy and just for the record, if you're going with the navigation of the Natur Monumenta app, um, this is the location you should begin at. Here's the parking lot. Do keep attention on where you want to park because it's not all, uh, allowed in certain locations. On the navigation, it gives you a farm, but you just have to uh, drive forward, basically. So, uh, this route is about 10 kilometers, give or take, they say it's uh, 3 hours uh, of a hike. Well, you guys are by now uh, used to me that I'm a little bit quicker than that. So, um, I might be done in 2 hours, we shall see, because I've been uh, hiking a lot. We need to go right. We just passed checkpoint one. We got 11 checkpoints to go through. I am going to walk on the bike lane. I rather want to see them. And that's the car lane. So the cars are not allowed here. So that's, but it's for allowed for people that are uh, living here. Uh, do keep a check on that as well when going towards this location. This route is uh, near the border of the Netherlands and the Belgiums. Um, of Belgium. So um, we're gonna cross the borders here, uh, but I choose to put this um, this vid on on the Netherlands. Uh, series, so Limburg series. Alright, put a, go, uh, a sweater on, well, kind of sweater, because they predicted that it's gonna rain in four hours, give or take, so I'm not taking the risk, um, so I will be doing uh doing some uh, self-care you know it's also very important we got some bicycles you can bike here as well there's routes for that Peter. So, this route can be divided in whatever distance you want. The area we are walking to, this is actually a route that is combined with two other routes. So, I don't know why they did that, but they did. Um, you can divide it, I think, in four or five routes even really depends on what you want so yeah it's uh it's gonna be quite challenging because like i said i did quite some hiking lately and i can feel it in my legs now 
so I need to be careful with myself as well. We need to go right, as you can see. The app I'm using is like not a promo again, but I do hope they will promote or give it, sponsor me uh, for the time being that I'm doing the Netherlands series. Um, but I am using the app for I do Monumentum. It's free. You can download it for free. Um, you can use it on Android and iOS. Um, you can uh, use up to three maps, hiking maps, for free. Um, so, if you want to use it, you can. But if it's more than four hikes routes, so to say, you will have to pay uh, a subscription towards Natu Monumenta. Goedendag. Hey. Ah, the subscription will be well spent. <coughs> it is up to upkeep this whole area in its glory of nature. So it's, in my opinion, well spent. And it is a little minimum of three uh, euro, aka three dollars per month. Um. You will get access to 300 maps, 300 plus maps and throughout the whole Netherlands. Hello. to not talk the other people because I don't know that's how I'm raised it's a beautiful area um, we already go visited stunning areas in the Bronsome Heide and Swartzbroek and I think Swartzbroek no wait yeah Swartzbroek first and Maastricht so, and we're gonna visit some more beautiful spots. This is one of them. The area is that look amazing. All right, we're gonna zigzag. We're gonna go right, then immediately with a sharp left. Now I do hope. But I will, I will inform you guys if my presumption is uh, correct or not. I did park the car in front of them, of the restaurant. I don't know if the people like that or not. Hey. Um, but uh, because basically they just want to have people, you know, there to park their car and that they can, you know, earn money from it. And as you know, free parking. So, I will see if there's going to be a problem or not. If not, I will not mention it in the uh, first few seconds. I guess I need to go in here. Yeah, I need to go here. So, because the map, in this case, it is very important to note that this um, route is a, com a combination of, I think, three routes. So, it's not wise to go um, 
on the directions of the uh, checkpoints, uh, no, the markers, what I always point at in different videos. Most of the time they are uh, equal. I don't think that's the word, but yeah. But because it's color based, I think we are now going to use a few routes to, you know, admire this view. Look at this. <laughs> because most routes are max six kilometers, give or take. We are going to do the jackpot of 10 kilometers. So. This way, and we're reaching checkpoint two. I always say, have good shoes, have drinks with you. I got like two bottles: one sugar, one of sugar-based, and one water. And have a energy bar or something like that. Um, best thing, in my opinion, is to take something with nuts. Um, it provides longer energy, at least in my case. So, if folks are wondering, am I losing weight because of these uh, kind of uh, videos? Yes, I am. I'm pretty proud to say that I'm lost about two uh, kilograms already. Yeah, that makes me feel comfortable. Okay. Wow, this looks amazing. <laughs> Got trees with new trees and everything. Cool. Alright, we need to go back. <laughs> we need to go inside here. What the hell? Oh, I missed that. But we have to cross this. This is one <coughs> wonderful field. <coughs> Sorry. <sighs> but that's uh, that's okay. I thought for a second that I had to go in there, but was not sure. Now I am. <laughs> so this route is going cross over this area. Did not uh, see that. So the gate is in front of us. I did pass it, so I know where it's trying to lead me to. I might slowly be going to regret that I got my sweater on because it's ha ah, warm, <laughs> and that's me saying it nicely. Whew. All right, so gate is here. We need to enter it. We need to go that way. Sorry for the wind. Alright. Okay. This is the way. Like the Mandalorian would say, this is the way. Alright. We have to follow this part. We do. Interesting. Well, gotta admit, I like this route better than the other one. 
does hope I don't see any wild animals because I don't want to go a tree, <laughs> go uh, around it. <laughs> Lots of butterflies and damn, nice. We gotta go that way. Lots of flowers. Yeah, we are following the purple? Yeah, purple. It's not, it's not, I'm not totally, I'm uh, kind of off, but at the same time also not, I guess. Because I don't see another route here. And so far I've been hitting the markers well. So, who knows. Basically I'll just have to go straight ahead. I can see the marker already there. Oh, that's gonna be fine. I do need to give this small warning, just look where you're walking in these kind of pathways because you never know what you might hit. I mean I don't mind but like I got short pants or oh, short yeah short pants right now. So I can feel the plans. It's always good to, to watch where you're walking. It's a bit cloudy, but they predicted that, so I didn't see the yellow sign in the distance, I think. But that's the exit point we need to go to. We are past by point two now. Bijna, begin net.
It's like you guys are walking on my side. <laughs> You're on my shoulders at the moment, so... We have a few more routes here after this one to go to. Surprisingly, there are not many routes on the east side of Limburg. There's a lot of routes on the left, west side. That's what I noticed. I will do some research if I can find some routes on the east side. But so far, not many. Much of uh, of it is farmland and farmers don't approve it really to walk through their territory. Which is understandable. I mean, they are trying to produce food and everything. So I don't know how much the battery will hold. Um, out of teaching, I've learned that it will hold at least for a good one hour and 30 minutes. But seeing that this route is about to double that, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I do have a reserve battery with me, so that's not really a problem. Um, We just have to go straight here. There are some boards, information boards here. On my, also on one on my left side. I don't know if you notice that. If not, I don't know if it's a view for you guys. But I do hope you guys like the video content. I'm trying to improve myself as I go. Trying to review my videos as best as possible. So you guys, you know, do I like what I'm looking at? Because if I don't like it, I have always the mentally, mentality to think that you guys won't like it either. The wind is something I cannot help, at the moment at least. Oh, look at that. I, I cannot zoom in with this. But you can see... Uh, wait. Can you see it? I don't know. No, I cannot zoom in, but... It's right about that location. There are some wild animals. Wild cows, long hair cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, pretty big, actually. Quite surprised about that. But, like you, as you can see, the fences here. So stay away from the from the animals. They uh, they want to be left in peace. You can make pictures from this distance, but I will repeat myself more than once in different um, Oh, nice! Okay. Uh, in different videos. We are crossing now the border, it seems. Now we are next to the border. On the left side is Belgium, on the right side, where we are walking, is the Netherlands. The irony. <clears throat> Walking on the edge. Hell yeah. It's quite an exploration here. I'm keeping a check on the weather. It is very cloudy, so that's why the um, light of the video is not that great. So, just saying. Oh. 
Let's see if I can do something about that. I don't think so, but who knows. Checking my navigation. I do notice that my phone battery goes faster than the camera because I'm using the navigation system on that. But luckily, I have a power bank with me. We pass already, by the way, point, checkpoint 3. We are going to point checkpoint 4, which must be a bridge that we have to cross. The way back will be mostly in Belgium, just so you know. Peaceful here. Love it. It's quite a hike towards that location. <laughs> like on the map, it looks like very like ten minutes walk or something. Not. So we are reaching in the time period like it's July uh, almost August um, we are reaching autumn so a lot of this will be changing into autumn colors like leaves will color and everything um, I do tend to continue most of the content until uh, at least begin winter because it's winter time it's not doable to do hikes in my opinion I mean it might, it might be looking beauty but the winters here are very uh, wet or very rainy so I don't think you have any profit with that like when it's the summertime and oftentimes you have more a chance of um, you know enjoying these kind of videos without rain or whatever well and um, plus, it's fine. plus the, the temperature can drop very much so the camera might not function well enough you know but it is longer than I thought 
We are almost at the checkpoint four. Did not expect that. So normally the other routes would not let me cross checkpoint four. They would want me to go with checkpoint four to the uh, sorry. Are you seeing so correctly? mistake um, so normally am I saying it right um, yeah they would may let me go not straight but go right to do a different route which is not what I want I want to go straight to the next area, which is more intriguing. It's also a forest area, just saying. So a lot, as you can see, a lot is forest area. And we keep going, 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 and then we are in the open again. So. I literally said earlier to watch here where you look, uh, walk, and I walked, and I didn't look where I walked. Uh, prime example of what, uh, how not to do it. Oh, this is a tricky one. The tree went uh, broke down. It happens. There was a quite some worries about in the Netherlands about the heat um, because you can see a lot of grass died, dead grass and everything here. Um, but if there, but that's like uh, if I have understood it correctly, if you have like layers of layers of layers of grass, it will become and the sun keeps brewing on it. Uh, oh, I watched that. Go correct myself. Um, then it becomes very warm and very hot until it basically ignites, and then you have a forest fire, which is definitely something you don't want. So they try to keep that in check as much as possible. Mm, careful. Sorry guys. Okay. Good an obstacle. Can I cross it? Yes I can. Big tree man, jeez. Um anyway. We have to cross here over the bridge. Oh, I will get you guys. Alright. Shitty ass bridge. Very. Ooh, that's wobbly. Okay. So basically, they want me. How the hell do you want to go that? No, you can do go that way. Uh, but we have to go this way. Dun, 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 dun. You guys a little bit backwards. <sighs> All right, got a big bug on me. <sighs> so, for the folks that don't like insects, don't do this route.
Oh wow, that is actually quite impressive. Oh, wow. I'm already sweating, so I know I can take another shower. <sighs> Just showered. I don't know. I don't mind. Ooh, interesting. Very muddy here. Cross over for water. Are you choking me? I'm not gonna. Fuck, oh, jeez. Fuck. Fuck off. Sorry, language. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I'm in kind of a swamp area. I hope not. That would be interesting. I'm just going to be very careful when crossing that wet areas. Oh shit, yeah, that's wet. Now I can understand why the grass is here. Take off the fluids, jeez. <sighs> All right. So we just have to go straight. Keep following the route as much as possible. This is a parkour uh, location. It's definitely not for mountain bikers. Because they got stuck on muddy roads, muddy points. Damn, there's a lot of ecological uh, stuff going on. Like on the left side of me is the water gumming. So I'm trying to walk as steady as possible. But because I cannot see the roots, I keep... Um, Diverging from my course. <sighs> but uh, it's so far safe. Okay. We can do this. <sighs> ah. Some solid ground. Nice. Out for the wet areas. Okay, straight ahead, we're coming back to society. see a car here. Interesting. I think oh, at the car I will change. I will uh, strap my shoelace, I will stop this video for a second and then continue my part. Uh, oh yeah, I'm getting the vest out because I'm sweating as an elephant at the moment. Area. 
A lot of people walked here already. Oh, bikes. Okay. Abandoned bikes, fun. Okay, we have to cross this road. Brook. Uh. Uh, close always the door. It's for the animals that they keep safe. Okay, going to cross this, and I am going to switch a little bit. So give me a sec, we'll be right back.